All right, what's going on YouTube? In this video, I'm gonna be changing out my transmission fluid in my 2007 Toyota Tundra, 4.7 liter. And I'm gonna be doing my best to change out all 11 quarts. I took it to the local Toyota dealer. They charged me $145.90 to drain four quarts and just pour four quarts back in. That's all they did. So I just bought 12 quarts, a whole case, which I think I'm gonna only need 11, but it was cheaper to buy 12, 12, 12 quarts, which was a whole case for, for $82.70. So I'm gonna change out all 11 quarts close to it for about $82 plus the filter. And I'll put all the stuff I use down in the description. And if you want any of this AMS oil, I'm gonna put Don Smith's information down there. You can contact Don Smith and he will help you out to get the AMS oil. Or I'll just, I'll put some links down there also just for regular Toyota transmission fluid if you wanna use that. All right, these are some of the tools I'm gonna to be using. I'm gonna use this infrared thermometer. Um, you might want some eye protection. I got a brand new gasket and I got this off of Auto Anything Auto. I'll put it all, a link down to this in the description just in case you have the exact same Tundra that I have. And I got two buckets. I'm gonna use this one to put my good clean oil in while I'm pumping it in. And I got this one just to keep measuring how much I'm taking out. And you might need some paper towels. Some, I'm gonna use some brake parts cleaner to clean up the um, filter or the transmission pan. Here's my new filter, which is 58136 Wix. You're gonna, might, you're gonna need a pair of needle nose Oh, a 1 16th inch drill bit. Um, you're gonna need a, I think this is a 24 millimeter. Yeah, you're gonna need a 24 millimeter. I may need a scraper, because I think my pan, I think the gasket is gonna need scraped off. A couple crush washers. Then I have a big torque wrench, which is for foot pounds. And then I have a little torque wrench, which is for inch pounds. All right, you're also gonna need a five millimeter hex. And I, bought this pump. This first time using this pump, so hopefully this works good. And you need a battery. Like I just took my battery out of my lawn tractor because that's how that, that pump works off to 12 volt. And maybe a flashlight. And uh, you might want some gloves. Make sure you chalk your wheels, put your parking brake on in your truck so you have no chance of it moving. Be careful when you start your truck up, some of the parts under there are gonna get real hot, like my exhaust, and be careful of moving parts. All right, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to open up your bypass. Just take a pair of needle nose and that 1 16th inch drill bit so all the transmission fluid will go up to the cooler. That way I'll be able to flush all this transmission fluid out. I'm gonna use this hose right here. All right, before I start draining all my transmission fluid out, I recommend Found your fill port, which on this 4.7 liter 07, here's my drain and there's my check. So right from the drain on the driver's side, right about almost right above that is gonna be where my fill port is at. Right here, there's a WS on it. I'm gonna crack that, make sure I can get that off. You don't wanna drain all your transmission fluid out and then you can't get that off. All right, my drain plug is loose. Good to go. There should be a little rubber O-ring on it. That's what it looks like. Just gonna put it back in for now. All right, next, I'm gonna drain out what transmission fluid I can get out of my pan. I forgot to tell you that this is a 14 millimeter. Make sure when you put these back on that you torque these on because this, you don't want to strip this out. They're not on there that very tight. I'll give you the torque settings here when I put them all back on. It should probably be about three or four, probably about four quarts in here, maybe more. But I'm going to measure this as I go. We're going to check it from the check, this is the check port. I'll use that at the end just to check this, make sure this, 
I have the correct level in. Okay, before I forget to, I made sure this pan was level. You could check your pan or maybe just check your frame of your truck, make sure your truck is level. All right, now I'm gonna start dropping this pan. All the little bolts in mine for this 4.7 liter are all a 10 millimeter, and I have 20 of them. So if you go to order a new gasket somewhere else, make sure you have 20 holes because some of them have 19. Alright, here is my pan, and it has an old gasket, and so I'm going to take this old gasket off and put my new gasket on. Like I said, make sure you have the right amount of holes. So I can take this off, clean this up. You got to take these magnets out and clean these up too. There's a lot of grime on there. Just take a paper towel. Wipe them off. There should be four in there. Some parts cleaner. All four should look about like that. Let me clean this up and I'll get back to you. All right, I got it all cleaned out. I scrubbed off where my gas is going to go a little bit. Cleaned that with some of that parts cleaner. I'm going to put all these magnets back in. This right here was my drain plug, and that's my check plug. That's why that little straw sticks up like that. When you have this truck running, you got this up to temperature, which the temperature should be between 115 and 130. Your transmission fluid should be just trickling out of this tube right here. And this is my new gasket. I noticed the one hole is close to right in the corner, so none of the other holes are like that. I'm gonna put that on there. I think the easiest way to make sure this is all lined up is to take all 20 of your screws and just start them in there a little bit. That gasket will hold them. All right, just one more. And then hopefully that'll keep that so it stays exactly in the spot and I'll be able to get these all started. Now these should all be 65 inch pounds, not 65 foot pounds, 65 inch pounds. That's a big, big difference. All right, let's get this old filter off. Hopefully not make too much of a mess. These are 10, mil 10, 10 millimeter also. I think these are any different size. I think they're all the same. I'll tell you here in a sec. All right, let me get down. So when you pull this down, you're going to get some more transmission fluid. And there should be an O ring. Make sure you get the O ring with it. Yeah, it looks like they're all the same size. There's all four of them. Here comes. There. Yep, there's the O-ring. Make sure you get that O-ring because the new one has a, already has an O-ring on it. All right, 
let's just put this new one back in. Make sure you have the O-rings on it. And that should be 85, 85 inch pounds. All right, before I put that pan up, I'm gonna try to clean up where the gasket sits. Just use a little scraper, maybe some parts cleaner, make sure that's cleaned up. Careful you don't gouge anything if you're using like a metal scraper. All right, let's put this pan up. It only goes up one way, so really can't goof it up. If you're doing exact same truck, the drain plug is toward the rear. Put all these on hand tight first. Checking to make sure these are all 65 inch pounds. torque down my drain plug to 15 foot pounds so I shouldn't have to take that back out and this would be 15 foot pounds also but we're gonna take that out a couple times still all right so far I've drained out a little over four quarts so now I'm gonna fill my other bucket up and I'm keeping it warm because the little extractor pump that I bought and I'll put that down in the description also in case this works as good as I hope it's going to work but I'm keeping these warmed up because it's supposed to pump better when the fluid is warm so I'm keeping it here in front of my fire not too close to the fire but now I'm going to pump in five quarts I know I took four quarts out but we're going to try to pump some more out of the one line under my truck and get the rest of this fluid out Take my fill plug back. Oh, back out. Drop it on your eye. Don't drop it on your eye. Aha. Works like a champ. All right, that's about five quarts. All right, I'm going to unhook. I still have my bypass in. I'm not going to take that out till probably closer to the end. I'm gonna undo this one hose. Can you see me up here? Yeah, because it's... It's the hose closest to the rear of my truck. There's two here on the bottom. Right here by where I put the bypass in. I'll just put some pliers on there, needle nose or whatever. This should be easier for you since right now I'm trying to videotape this. Okay, that and undo that this is going to blow out the rest of my transmission fluid and I... all right start it up now, you're going to have to have somebody start this for you now that looks like my old transmission fluid if i start seeing Real nice bright red fluid, I'm gonna stop. Now watch so you don't touch the muffler here either. All right, shut it off. I'm gonna put it back on. All right there. I got about eight, so now I'm gonna put a couple more quarts up in there 
and then we'll push out some more. All right, I'm putting three more quarts back in of new stuff. So hopefully then we can push out the rest of the bad transmission fluid. That line that I'm taking that out of is the, the return line coming from the transmission cooler. There's three more quarts. I'm gonna take this hose out, plug back in. I'm just putting this plug back in hand tight. Go ahead and start it up. Now we're gonna to try to push this out till I hit that 11. All right, shut it off. Okay. Now we can put the last of the transmission fluid in, at least up to that 11, until I put 11 quarts in. I'm gonna put a little bit over 11 this time. That way we can warm this up and check it. I'm gonna put my clamp back on. Be careful your exhaust is hot because I'm not draining no more out. That's 11 quarts. Okay, make sure you have both these clamps on just in case you messed with the other hose. If you accidentally take the wrong hose off, if you would take that hose off, at least of this 2007 4.7 liter, the transmission fluid shoots out of here. This side, it just kind of drips out. Like that's why I hold my finger over that so it ain't getting all over everything. And it shoots out this part. I don't need to drain no more out, so I did that. I still have my bypass there. We're gonna leave that there. All right, I got 11 quarts of the old fluid out. I've put eight quarts in so far. And I put three more and about half of another half in that bucket. So that have put me a little over 11. And then we're gonna check it. When I check it, we can make sure it's completely full. There's my last, was it three and a half quarts? That should be all I'm gonna put in. The fill plug is torqued down to 29 foot pounds. All right, now I'm gonna start my truck one last time and I'm gonna run it through the gears a couple times. Just if you're doing this in your garage, make sure you Keep your foot on the brake. You don't want to start driving through your garage. And then I'm going to go down underneath and check my transmission pan until I heat, until I warm up my transmission transmission fluid to 115 to 130. I have my garage door open. So if you're doing this in your garage, make sure you have the back of your truck pointed out the garage door. All right, I'm trying to get this pan to about one, I'm gonna shoot for about 115 to 120. And if you're using a temperature gauge like I am, the one end's gonna be hotter than the other. Like that says 98, and that's closer to the front of my truck. If you go to the rear, it's 91, 92. So I'm going to work on getting this end to about 115 to 120, and then I'm going to pull out my check plug, and it should just dribble out of there. 
You don't want to pull that check plug out without your engine running though because it'll all run out. It's about 115. So I'll pull this check plug out. And now some's probably going to come out because I put a little extra in. Yep. torque down this check plug to about 15 foot pounds. Let's go to on. Make sure you put your new crush washer on if you want to put a new crush washer. Alright, All right, I got this torque down to 15 foot pounds. Don't forget to take out your 16 inch, 16 inch drill bit. You got your clamps on, you got everything torqued down. There's some new, and that's what the old looks like. All right, that's about it. I got all my transmission fluid flushed out. And I ended up using about 11 and a half quarts. And then I drained out maybe about a half a quart at the end. So I hope this video helped you out. Please give me a thumbs up and a comment down below. That really helps me out for YouTube. Thank you very much. God bless and have a great day.